I'm gonna go over a basic glide wax tutorial for cold, hard, green waxes. Cold waxes have a density very similar to plastic, so it's really hard to get this wax onto a ski without damaging the ski base. This wax here specifically has an iron temp of 150, so very, very hot, and I'm gonna show you the method that I use to get it onto the ski. First step in the process is allowing the wax to pool on top of the iron. What I'm gonna do after that is take that pool of wax and transfer it to the ski using the cranning method. Being careful not to accidentally drip any wax onto the ski. It's very hard to pass the iron across a drip as opposed to a nice even crammed on layer. So the process is going to be allow that wax to pool, then scoop that pool onto the ski. Same thing going all the way down. As I'm headed down the ski, it's not a big deal if you miss spots. Since I'm not ironing the ski right now, you can simply just go back, miss a couple spots, I'm just gonna touch those up. And then the ironing piece is very important as well. So ironing this cold hard wax in, I'm just gonna focus on one side at a time instead of trying to achieve it all in one pass. So the first pass, I'm gonna focus on the right hand side, making sure to keep moving at a nice steady pace. I don't want to see that wax staying liquid. So as I'm going, I'm getting a little bit of a liquid pool, but really not too much on the ski. Once I'm done here, I did miss a couple of spots. There's a couple of spots that aren't ironed in completely. That's totally fine. What I do in that case is I would just go back and focus on that specific point once the ski has cooled completely. So over here, I do have a ski that is all done now. I let this cool. It's cool to the touch. I like to use my inner arm to test and make sure the ski is cool enough to start scraping and brushing. Scraping and brushing, again, is a little bit challenging with these cold waxes. So most important thing is having a nice sharp scraper. I see a lot of people working really hard to try and get green wax off their ski, and that's really tough with a dull scraper. So sharp scraper. Groove pen, I do like to start with the groove pen all the way down the groove. With this, important to do that first, so that if I were to slip out, that isn't going to damage the ski base. Next step is then going to be taking my scraper and heading right down the ski. Since I'm working on a nice flat ski, I can achieve a lot of my scraping just with one pass. If I miss some spots, I can go back and focus on those. Again, since my scraper is sharp, I really don't need to push very hard or do too many passes. At this point, I have got most of the wax off the ski, and then I'm gonna to move to my brushes. Do really like a nice fine steel brass brush or a steel brush. I'm gonna use this and go back over the ski and take the remainder of the wax off the top of the ski. Again, while I'm brushing, I am going to focus just on the bigger clumps with the steel. Then I'm gonna move to a horsehair brush. With these brushes, as you get to softer bristles, you can go back and forth. With horsehair, I do like to stay in one direction. Just pulling out the remainder of any wax that I can see in the structure. And then the last step is just gonna be this nylon brush. And with this, I am just polishing the remainder of the wax out here. Once I'm done, I should have ended with a nice polished black base, ready to head out and ski in cold temps.